Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be playing with some of the new products from Profusion, their Boba Tea Collection. When I was on vacation in Hot Springs with my family, we went to Walmart, we were out there, and I saw they had a whole display of all of the new products that were in the Boba Tea Collection. I got everything except for the water activated liners. It's just not really my type of product. And if I didn't like it, I didn't want to find myself, you know, stuck with something that I just knew I was not going to use. But I grabbed two of the four eyeshadow palettes. They had four all together. Might go back and see if I can find the other two, but I grabbed my two favorite color stories. This one is Matcha Milk Tea. It's a really pretty green color story. I love green. So pretty. And then the other one is Thai Milk Tea. And this one is orange. You guys know how much I love orange. So we're going to be doing a look. I think I'm going to combine the two palettes together. I grabbed both shades of the Boba Tea Cream Blushes. We have Terrific and then we have Best Tea. Looking forward to trying these. As you guys know, I have fallen in love with cream and liquid blushes in 2022. And then the last thing that I picked up is the three-piece water lip tint trio so there are three shades of their water tint in here i'm assuming this is more like the k beauty or j beauty type product which is going to be kind of a thin lip stain rather than a thicker creamier liquid lipstick but we'll see when we get to this first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids with my milani eyeshadow primer and then we're going to go ahead and apply one of the blushes and then i'm just going to use my tinkerbell happy thoughts cream blush super shock from ColourPop. i'm just going to use this to highlight because i don't have an actual highlighter i don't think there is one with this collection i'm going to go ahead and swatch these real quick so i just want to see what the shades are like so best tea looks like it's a really pretty coral peachy shade feels just like the formula in, what was it, the Full Bloom collection. Oh, that is really pretty. A very soft pink coral. And then this one, Terrific. Looks like it's more of a pink, kind of a raspberry maybe. So that's what that's looking like. Definitely the same balmy consistency that the Full Bloom blushes had very pretty i think i'm gonna go with this one since i'm combining two palettes that are more on the warmer side this is kind of more cool toned i'm just going to use a face sponge to apply this i have found that with this particular type of formula the sponge is the best way to apply it so i'm going to tap it to my cheek that is very pretty the shade reminds me a lot of the tropical shade i think that's what it's called the one from believe beauty their cream blush this reminds me a lot of that as far as the shade that is very pretty and it's blending really beautifully so this is the one from believe beauty this shade is called tropical sunset that is what that one is looking like and then this one best tea right here i'm gonna lay it next to it this one is slightly lighter but as you can see the shades do look similar this one's just a little bit deeper the overall look though is very much the same on the cheeks just thought that was very interesting in the pans they look almost identical after i film this video i'm going to be filming my blush declutter finally those two drawers if you remember from when i did like the full overview of how i store my makeup those two drawers are out of control i have way more blushes than i do highlighters so yeah i really need to get some decluttering done just kind of get those under control so that i can see the products that i enjoy and actually be able to find them and get to them you know that would be very nice that is such a beautiful blush Ooh, I'm liking how that's looking. I'm going to tap on just a little bit of Happy Thoughts. My finger. I thought since I was using a cream blush, a cream highlighter would be beautiful too. The Super Shocks aren't technically a cream highlighter, but it has a very kind of a bouncy, soft consistency to it. So far, I'm loving how this look is coming together. I don't know what it is, but ever since I came back from vacation, I've had this patchiness in this area. 
It's like it's dark in here, but like light up in here close to my hairline. It's odd. I, I don't know what is going on with that. But like if I bronze, it's just really, really patchy and even. It's just so weird. All right, moving on to our eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, my goal is to combine the two. All right, so what do we want to do? In the Thai Milk Tea, it looks like I'm seeing a three mattes here here and here and then three shimmers and the matcha milk tea i think it's the same way these three up here are shimmers and then these are mattes this one has like a weird little kind of a um, sequence kind of a mat similar to those sequence sequence mats you see in color pop so ooh, huh. do you want to go with something deeper or something lighter with this look i think i'm gonna take this shade right here in my outer corner they don't have any shade names then maybe go with this one in the inner corner. I don't want to do this shade because it's too close to red and we're, you know, we can, we're not trying to go like Christmassy right now. So I think I'm going to go this one into this one. We'll see how it goes. So how are you guys doing? It is the middle of July. This month has gone by so fast. My kids go back to school the second Monday in August. I remember back when I was in high school. Or in high school, well, school, yes, in school. We got out like we didn't go back until the day after Labor Day in September. But my kids go back to school so much earlier. Like they literally only have like two months out. They get out right after Memorial Day or right before Memorial Day, and then they go back the second week of August. So it's like summer just flies by. My my, my daughter has had cheer practice throughout the summer. She's one of the cheer captains in the junior varsity cheer squad. Okay, that's like a deep hunter's green and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's not a true matte, it's like a sad matte. Don't know what I think about that. It's not really blending the best. I know it's not the primer because my Milani primer, everything works with it. I'm using the end of a BH Cosmetics brush, like the pointy end. If you look down in my description box, I kind of switched everything. Like I, I updated it and made it look a little bit more clean. I was noticing in other description boxes, they were using links that had bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y at the beginning. And at first I thought those were like um, affiliate links. And then I went and looked it up and realized it's a website that you can go to where you can take longer links Put them into the little create box and it'll create a shorter link for you. So if you go look in my description boxes now from the last video, the Essence video on this one, it looks so much cleaner. And I also added a section in there with makeup brushes that I use if I'm able to find them because I did notice a couple of you had asked me about doing that. So the tools and the makeup brushes that I use are now linked down there if they are available. So definitely check that out. That is a pretty shade, but it's definitely a little bit patchy. All right, moving along to the Thai Milk Tea palette, we are going to go into this shade right here, and I'm just gonna kind of blend that into this area. The other two palettes, there was a more red-pink palette. I don't know what the names of them are, but it was a reddish-pink color story, and the other one was more purple. I just grabbed the two that, you know, appealed to me the most. Green and orange, as you guys know if you've been following, are my favorite eyeshadow shades to play around with. It's a pretty shade. It's very similar to the blush. Like, you can see they kind of match. <laughs> We're color coordinating here. Just blending that into that inner corner area. Softly blending it into the green. I don't want it to get, like, super muddy or anything. I'm going to take just a little bit here. On this eye, I have like a little bit of kind of a scar patchy area here. So sometimes the shadow just doesn't want to blend in this area. It's so weird. I'm going to go into the lighter green and take that along the lower lash line. I'm noticing there's very little kick up in this palette as well. Not much fallout. Very pretty green. Very pretty limey mojito green gets me every single time. Every time. All right, now for our shimmers. I am going to go into... What do we want to do? 
Hmm. I know I definitely want to go into this little kind of spotted orange right there. I'm going to take that in the inner part, but I'm going to take this one right here and just kind of lay it on the outer part. This one has a yellow and green kind of a mix going on there. I thought that was a shimmer. Okay, that's actually a very <laughs> patchy matte. I thought it was a shimmer. It is not. So, instead of that one, is that a shimmer? That's so weird. I think that's a shimmer, but it's just a very kind of a hard pan shimmer. Interesting. I'm going to wet this shade and see what it looks like on the eyes. I'll be right back. I left my spray over there. My goal sign. <laughs> still kicking so far okay that shade kind of sucks it's not a matte it's definitely a shimmer but it's like really hard pan it looks pretty on the brush but yeah i'm not really getting anything on the eye wow that's i mean do you see that like nothing barely barely anything on the eye i'm really having to work to build that up. Wow, that is like three layers of product on my eyelid and we are barely seeing it. That is just, ooh, that's disappointing. That's disappointing. Definitely not like the formula in their 10 pan palettes. The, t the formula 10 pan palettes, stunning. Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely not digging. <laughs> definitely not digging on that one. That is for sure. I'm going to take this Blend Bunny brush here and go into this one. This one looks like it's a little, definitely a little creamier. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty. Shiny. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I thought I was getting with that other shade. Very weird. So, so weird. So weird. Okay, I'm going to press here. This one looks like foily. Okay, that's pretty. Oh, that is a pretty shade. That is a very, very foily looking shade. I am impressed with that. So much better than that, that green in the other palette. I don't know what was, what was going on <laughs> with that. I'm like still kind of don't understand. Yeah, this is pretty. That is a very, very pretty foily looking shade. Super, super impressed with that one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to throw on some liner lashes and then pick something for my waterline and then we'll come back and throw on one of these water lip tints. I'm interested in seeing what the consistency is with these. All right, eyes are finished and I do like the way that the look came out even though I did have to work to get there for my waterline. I'm using one of the ColourPop liners. The shade is Too Can Do It. It's really pretty bright gold. I don't know. I just wanted something really, really bright in my lower waterline. I decided to go ahead and tight line. Haven't done that in a while. I'm using my Mally liner in black. Got this out of a boxy charm. For my wing, I'm using my tried and true NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. This is my all-time favorite liner. I will continue to purchase this over and over and over again. And for my lashes, I'm using the Wispy Natural Flare from Ioni. These are 100% handmade 3D foam ink lashes. I get these from the Dollar Tree. They are some of my favorite lashes, and I pay like $1.25 or $1.50 for them. Absolutely beautiful. Now let's move into lips. All right, so we have three shades of the water tints, and these... Little packages are so cute. They look like little bottles of milk tea, like boba milk tea. So super cute. The first shade is grapefruit. This shade looks a lot like the blush as far as the tone. I'm going to swatch all of these real quick so you guys can kind of see what they look like. All right, so first we have grapefruit. This looks, looks like it's a really pretty soft peachy orange, like a lighter shade. Yeah, these definitely have that water stain kind of feel to it. See, these are definitely not going to be like super pigmented. Very pretty. They have kind of a soft, almost fruity scent to it. Maybe I'm imagining that. This shade is hibiscus. Hibiscus seems like it's going to be the deepest one. I have a feeling this shade might be kind of patchy actually applied to the lips. That is what that is looking like. And then our last shade is called Watermelon. Looks like it's similar to this one. No, actually it looks like it's more of a 
red, similar to this shade. Okay, that is more of a coral red. What do I want to go with with this look? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the coral red with the watermelon shade. I'm going to apply it on its own first, but I may end up going back and filling in with a lip liner. Let me know, guys, if you have picked up any of the pieces from this collection and what you thought. Definitely let me know if you've picked up the water activated liners. Water activated liners, it's just, it's just not my thing. So, like I said earlier in the video, I didn't want to get something that I didn't think I was going to use. You know what these feel like? The glossy lip stains from ColourPop. It's exactly what the consistency feels like. It's a pretty shade though. I like the applicator. There's a little hole in the middle which holds a lot of product. Very sheer formula. For me personally, I would want to line my lips first. Maybe fill in a little bit before applying this so that I can have a little bit more structure, but that's pretty. That is a very pretty shade. It's very sheer very glossy it makes my lips look kind of juicy feels comfortable i'm going to give it a minute to see if it dries down if it's anything like water tints that you see in like you know k-pop or k-pop k-beauty j-beauty you know korean and japanese type makeup it might not dry down at all but i do want to give it a minute to see what it does all right so it's been about three minutes and yeah, it's not dry down. This is definitely not going to be the type of formula that's going to dry down or be very long wearing. Very light, very thin, very sheer, and I'm pretty sure this shade right here, the middle shade, which is called Hibiscus, pretty sure that one's going to apply really patchy. I don't know if this is going to be something that I'm going to pull out again. It's not really my formula. I'll probably pass these on to my daughter, but always fun to try out a new product. All right, now for a quick rundown of what I tried today and it's kind of my final first impression thoughts. First, the cream blush, the boba cream blush. The shade that I use today is Bestie. Comes in two shades, Bestie and Terrific. Once again, Bestie is that brighter coral orange and Terrific is more of a raspberry pink. This is the shade that I use today. It is beautiful. I don't know how long wearing is going to be throughout the day. If the formula is anything like the Full Bloom, which is exactly how they feel, it's going to be long wearing. Feels like it is kind of set down on the skin. It's not like all greasy and oily or anything. It's just such a beautiful shade. Like This is a perfect spring summer shade. Just gorgeous. The eyeshadow palettes I wasn't super impressed with, especially the Matcha Milk Tea, the green palette. This shade up here in the corner it's just so weird. Like, I really had to work to build that up to really get anything on my eyelid. And still, even now, you can't really see it. This shade blended a little bit patchy. I don't know. Overall, just from the shades I use in this palette, I wasn't very impressed. This one blended a little bit better. This is the Thai Milk Tea. This shade right here in the corner is just so super foily. I think of all the shades I've used today... This one is my favorite. That one is gorgeous. The formula overall in these two palettes, definitely not as good as the ones in the tin pans. The tin pan palettes are stunning. This formula was just not as good. I wasn't, uh, you know, super impressed with this. And then the last thing, the water lip tints. This is really pretty. I like the way that it looks on my lips. I'm going to try these out a little bit longer, kind of see what I think about them, try out all the shades gonna wear them throughout the day see how they feel see how I'm liking them and then just kind of decide later if these are products I'm going to want to keep if I decide not then I'm just gonna pass them on to my daughter because I know she'll love these either way if you enjoyed the video be sure to give the video a thumbs up it really does help with my channel guys we're getting my videos into recommendations if you are new to my channel and you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe and make sure to tap the notification bell so you get notified of any videos coming up in the future. And also be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I don't post on Twitter very often, but I am on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be announcing my Instagram giveaway sometime in the next couple of weeks. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.